Yup. Compasses. So a few years ago we saw the source material that sparked the idea for this cool table. This guy built a side table and he had about like 10-ish bigger compasses. He had one coaster that had magnets in it. So what he would do is he would move the coaster around the table and the compasses would follow the magnet or they would point towards the magnet because coasters point towards the North Pole because it's magnetized. And uh, if you bring a magnet close enough to a compass, it'll, it'll follow it. Really cool thing. We like that idea, so we made it our own and created this. The compass table sits in our front room and is a frequent gathering place when guests come over. It's definitely out of the ordinary. So our inspiration table is a side table with 10 big compasses. Our table is obviously not a side table and we use much smaller compasses. I mean, look at these things. I could eat this and still be alive. Like, these things are small. So he had 10 compasses for side table. We have 2,150 compasses for a sitting room table. Now, where do you find that many compasses? eBay. We use 20 millimeter oil-filled compasses. You can find these on eBay in large numbers. They're very cheap and they aren't terribly accurate. So in an emergency situation, don't use these compasses for navigation because you'll die. Now let's talk about the table. We actually already had this table like for a few years before we saw the source material, but we realized we could take the top off of that table and put this one on. It's a three by three foot mission style table we got on clearance at an office supply store. It looks great in the house and we didn't have to build the bottom part at all. So you're probably wondering how we were able to take out the existing top and put ours on. Well, most tables will use the top as, as an anchoring point. So you'll have your legs attached to it. You'll have your side pieces attached to it. And it's a great place to put it because where's the lid going to go? Nowhere. But this table is a little different. It's got some extra storage. It's pretty neat. The movable lid on this table not only gives us a secret storage area, but it also moves forward in a way that it can be used as a fold-out desk for people sitting in chairs. Many high school homework assignments have been done right here on this fold-out desk. Now how, how the lid itself is attached to the lift mechanism is fairly simple. It's just 10 screws. So what we did is the, the first top was about an inch and a half thick. It was a monster. It was so heavy. And we, we unscrewed the screws that came onto it, put ours on top, and screwed up through it. But that was the second attempt at creating a tabletop. Our first attempt involved just putting the compasses right on top of the existing tabletop, but that turned out to be a pretty bad idea because putting the compasses on top of the existing top doubled the weight of the lid. Remember how I said those were oil-filled compasses? Well, individually they're pretty light, but 2,150 oil-filled compasses are kind of heavy. We almost lost some fingers when we closed that lid. Realizing that smashed fingers would probably lead to OSHA violations and federal involvement in our project, we decided to ditch that tabletop and build a lightweight one instead. Okay, so we took a quarter inch of plywood and we put this lip around the side and we, we stained it and finished it to look pretty similar to the existing body. If you look really closely, you can tell that they're different, but only when you look really closely. So I think we did a pretty good job. Then we put this black lip around. This is just some pine that we painted black. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. Then we, we put all the compasses in and they fit perfectly fine, but we did not use any kind of an adhesion to, to put them onto the deck, which is important to note because when we put the glass on and we thought that we were done, we started playing around with the coasters. We realized that the compasses were going to, they were wiggling and getting everywhere and just looked like a mess. So we had to fix that. Since weight was our primary concern with the tabletop at this point, we did go with quarter inch plywood. But we used birch plywood instead of pine, which is a lot stiffer, so it had the strength we needed to put the compasses down. The black border strips were glued into place. This is what's going to support the glass later on. And then we used a Dremel to file down any screw tips that came through because we didn't want to punch holes in our oil-filled compasses. That would have made a mess. When the glue had dried on the glass supports around the edges, 
we put down contact cement over the entire surface and began to put the compasses back on. And here's a little advice to you woodworkers who have kids. If you offer pizza, they'll do what you see right here in the picture for you. They'll do all this stuff much faster than you can, and all it's going to cost you is a call to the pizza place. Highly recommend that strategy. Now let's talk about the glass. This is a three by three foot sheet of non-reflective glass, and I know you can see me right now because we got all these lights going on me, but I promise you, normally you can't see me, so it's fine. But the, uh, the lip holds it up, and now we have a nice surface for the table. But it's not super strong, so please don't stand on it if you ever come over. We ended up with a tabletop that is so closely color matched to the base of the table that it's almost impossible to tell that this is a completely new tabletop. It looks like it's original. Now let's talk about the coasters. Give you a better way to see. Now we have two kinds of coasters here. We have this one, we have that one. These are both made from spare model rocket parts that we stain and made them look really pretty. There's felt on the bottom so they can glide easily. Now you see that the compasses are moving with the coasters. That's because we cut cavities to put magnets inside of them. Magnets like these, just really, really simple button magnets, but they're extremely effective at moving the compasses. We used to fly a lot of high power model rockets. These rockets go pretty fast, pretty high, they're a lot of fun to build, and it's a great family activity. Here is one of ours launching. Um, I got a good tone. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. But you're here for woodworking, not aviation, so let's go back to the coasters. Model rockets use things called centering rings to hold the model rocket motor in the center of the tube. That's what we use for our coasters, centering rings. And the centering rings we used were actually centering rings that we'd flown in our rockets. So our coasters are flown hardware. They've actually been in flight. We think that's pretty cool. We used neodymium magnets in our coasters. Before you try something similar, you need to know that neodymium magnets have different strength ratings, which are expressed on a numeric scale. The most powerful consumer type neodymium magnets you can generally get have a rating of N52. This is pretty strong. Magnets of this power level will pull your tabletop compasses apart and permanently damage them. We discovered this the hard way when we use N52 bar magnets in our coasters. This went very badly and it destroyed quite a few compasses. We ended up using N35 and N42 magnets in our tabletop coasters. These magnets worked a lot better with the compasses and did not damage them. Don't make the same mistake we did. Check your magnet's power rating before you use it on your compasses and get something in the N35 to N42 range. You'll be happy you did it. Now a note from us about this stuff. When you have a table like this, you need to only use the magnetized coasters on the table because you have a magnetized coaster and a regular coaster. People will not know why some coasters work and some don't. Because, I mean, who would think to magnetize a coaster? Now we have a pretty unusual and great looking table in our front room that's so unusual, people take a second look and go, hmm, when you need it, it folds up to be a desk and it has super secret storage for your super secret things that you don't want people to see. This table is so cool that you should go out and build one right now. All right, now this table is really popular at parties, but the funny thing is, is that they don't even use the coasters as coasters, which like is fine because this is a glass top. So they'll just put their cup on the table and they'll play with the coasters. But because it's glass, any kind of condensation that gets on it, you can wipe off pretty easily. And, and if there's kind of a residue, you just Windex it off. Super simple stuff. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff we make. If you want to see more of stuff like this, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Please do it. Thank you.